There are so many young people who really are wonderfully trained and play fabulously and have ideas. You had an idea and, and you brought it to fruition with, with, with other people. Can you give any advice to young people, like a, a group who says, let's make a quartet? I was talking to Regan, my wife, the other night about this very topic because we were going to have a forum uh, where the, the three young groups that were mentoring at Carnegie Hall were going to be there and we were sort of going to be giving advice, which I, I really don't like to do. Let me give you some advice. Advice is good. Oh, okay. We well, need advice. Okay, but <laughs> I give advice. Yeah, it, it's uh, and she's she's told me one thing because she's been there, you know, the whole time. Mm -hmm. She's see, seen the whole thing, and she she sees the lists I make, and they're all littered all over the house. My, my music room is a mess of lists, and she just said one thing, and I realize this is good for people to know, and that is. You can't just have one idea that you want to do. You need to have layers and layers of ideas because you know an opportunity will become available. Oh yeah, uh, okay, now I can do idea number 99 and actualize that next month. And then maybe idea 43, you, you might hear, hear, uh, make a connection that can lead to that two months from now. I mean, very early on, in fact, as, as the group was beginning to rehearse, I made lists and lists of things I wanted to do. And if anything, today, uh, I probably drive Janet nuts, but it, there's probably more ideas now about what Kronos ought to be doing and needs to do than any, at any other point in our work. Because partly it's because more things are available and it's partly also because you can see very clearly what, what we haven't done. And, and you know, I, I could probably live to be 700 years old and not run out of ideas. And, and now that would be a scary thought, wouldn't it? <laughs>